to ask forgiveness from praise the Lord and hallelujah and welcome to this Sunday special episode and this is the third episode and this might be a message for you those who are listening there is a saying every saint had a past and every sinner has a future so this is in continuation of my Sunday episode so in the last episode we discussed about what makes a Christian different from others that is about love forgiveness and prayer so before I go into today's sharing let me say a word of prayer Dear Father God thank you for this moment and thank you for this opportunity where I can share something bless all those who are listening and those who are watching may the Holy Spirit be upon me as I share your words may it inspire someone those who are listening I make this prayer in the most powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen so welcome to this Sunday special episode and in continuation of the previous episode what we have discussed so far was about what makes a Christian different it's about love forgiveness and prayer and in today's Sunday episode we'll be discussing about forgiveness our world is in need of forgiveness now the first question arises why should we forgive those who have wronged against us why should you forgive people those who have hurt us but then we as christians we as followers of lord jesus christ he has shown us by his life now if you see in luke chapter 23 verse 24 when he was at the cross dying there he said jesus christ said for father forgive them for they do not know what they do even when he was not wrong people crucified him on the cross but even there our lord jesus christ with his arms stretched open he said father forgive them for they do not know what they do so we as his disciples we as his followers we are supposed to forgive it says in luke chapter 6 verse 37 forgive and you'll be forgiven only when you forgive will be forgiven we often pray our when we pray lord forgive us forgive us our mistakes forgive us our sins but how many times we have forgiven our fellow brothers and sisters whom we have hurt knowingly, unknowingly, intentionally and unintentionally, yes. So again it says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 14 and 15, If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sin, your Father will not forgive your sins. So no matter how much we pray, how much we shout, asking for forgiveness for our sins, but if we do not forgive those who have sinned against us, our sins will not be forgiven. If you see in the Bible, in the Holy Bible, when our Lord Jesus Christ taught us a prayer, the Lord's prayer to his followers and disciples, our Father prayer. If you see in between, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, and also in Luke chapter 11, verse 4, in between he says forgive us our sins as we forgive those sins against us we're asking for forgiveness but at the same time we're also saying forgive us our sins as we forgive those sins against us so there is no point in asking forgiveness from our lord god if we have not forgot, forgiven our brothers and sisters those who have hurt us we are living in this sinful world, of course. No one is perfect. I am not perfect. And I'm sure all those that are listening, we are not perfect. We have hurt others. Others have hurt us. It is high time for us to recollect all those whom we have hurt. Remember them and forgive them. Many a times what we do is we forgive, but we don't forget. We keep in mind we have this revengeful thought. I will forgive, but I will not forget. But what our Lord Jesus Christ really wants us is to forgive them completely, to forget what wrong they have done. In the same way, our Father God will also forgive all our wrongdoings and will forget our mistakes. It says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. My dear brothers and sisters, if you look at our world today, our world today has been guided by revenge, hatred, anger. It is time for us to show 
love and forgiveness, only then this world will be a better place. Let's start from our family. Let's start from our society. Let's start from our state. Let there be a, a spirit of forgiveness. And of course, it is not easy to forgive all those who have hurt us. It's not easy. It's not easy on my part to forgive all those who have hurt me. And I'm very sure all those whom I have hurt, it's hard even from their side to forgive me. But let's take this time to pray and forgive. And I also take this moment to ask forgiveness from all those people whom I have hurt. My friends, my family members, my relatives, my neighbors, or anyone whom I have hurt. I ask forgiveness from my heart. And I also assure you that all those who have hurt me, knowingly or not knowingly, I pray for you all. And I also forgive you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In today's time, the times are not good. In people's heart, if you see, there is full of anger and hatred. There is no forgiveness. If you see, for example, between husband and wife, there is love of anger. There is love of hatred among them. At one point of time, there was love. But right now, there is no, uh, no forgiveness. There is no compromise between siblings. Now, many siblings are there, of course, I know for sure. They want me talking to each other. And there are many family as such where parents and children they don't talk to each other. There is hatred. There is no forgiveness. And for sure, there is no perfect. No one is perfect. No one is perfection. Between friends, one time they were good friends. But now, they have become bitter enemies or they ignore each other. Something has gone wrong. Let us remember all those things and forgive. Let us put all, remember all those persons and pray for them. And let's forgive them, not just from our words, but from our heart. We will forgive them and also bless them. Who knows? Many of us may be lacking a blessing because we have not forgiven. It says in our dying bed, when you ask forgiveness from our Lord Jesus Christ, we also remember all those people whom we have not forgiven, all those people whom we have hurt. So before it's too late, my dear brothers and sisters, let's ask forgiveness from all those people. Let's pray for them. And let's also forgive all those people who have hurt us. If we do that, the Lord's blessing will be upon us and He will forgive us and we will have a very peaceful time. So this is my short sharing for today. Who knows, this message might be for you from our Heavenly Father. So may God bless all those who are listening and watching. Let's forgive and we will be forgiven.